It was a routine flight. The Antonov 12, belonging to Moscovy Airlines, was scheduled to return to the city of Perm in the Urals without cargo. Shortly after takeoff, things began to go wrong. The aircraft took off from Chelyabinsk. Ten minutes later, the captain contacted air traffic control and reported of smoke in the cabin and the crew's decision to come back to Chelyabinsk. While on approach, the plane crashed into a forest. There are no casualties on ground. All nine crew members died in the crash. Investigators suspect an electrical short circuit was to blame. One of the two black box flight recorders has been recovered. According to authorities, the plane flew into a power line. Witnesses say it was flying too low. The plane passed over the building's roof at an altitude of some hundred meters. I was surprised it was flying so low. In 30 minutes, everyone knew the aircraft had gone down half a kilometer away from the village. The Antonov 12 was first introduced in 1959, and the last one rolled off the production line 35 years ago. It is capable of carrying up to 20 tons of cargo and was the backbone of Soviet air freight. Pilots who know the plane admire it, but say it is showing its age. The aircraft is extremely safe. The engines are good, and so is the airframe. It's been in operation for 50 years, that says a lot in itself. Now it's not used as much, but that's only because it's coming to the end of its service life. Last year, seven crew members died in an accident involving an Antonov 12 near Moscow due to engine failure. Investigators now have to determine the reasons behind the latest crash. Andrei Bulay, RT.